Yo guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's Beer Reviews. Today we are looking at Ruddle's Best Country Ale. Coming in at 3.7% alcohol volume. A classic English ale. Ruddle's Best is an English ale with hoppy citrus undertones, balanced with bitterness and a light sweetness. It has an aroma that is packed with soft fruit notes and a clean Moorish finish. Ingredients, ingredients. Contains malted barley. That's what it says. 500 milliliter, guys. Ruddle's best country ale. Bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap. Okay, so. This was a pound from Asda. One quid beer. So, cheap beer review time. Let's get it open and see what it's all about. So, have I had this before? No, I have not had this before. I don't think I've had any Ruddles beers. None. So this is my first Ruddle beer. Look at the head on that, damn. Okay. So. Let's have a look at the beer, guys. See what it is. Have a look at the appeals and stuff. So the appearance of the beer in the glass, guys, you can already tell, you, you can already see the appearance in the bottle, because it's a clear bottle, you know. Um, quite a lot of people have issues with that, I don't mind it. Let's see, I'll fill this up a wee bit. Okay, so the appearance has got a very strong white fluffy head. Um, <laughs> so, very kind of, it's quite dark looking. It's a dark gold appearance. Um... Kind of ruby-ish as well. Dark gold ruby-ish appearance with a very strong white fluffy head. Um Yeah, it looks that's, that's I'm just it looks very dark. <laughs> to me it was really dark. Okay. Which is quite common with a lot of these ales, these kind of ales. Sorry, I thought I'd just seen something now. What the hell? Okay. So, white fluffy head. Let's go with the aroma. Sorry, I thought I'd seen something on my camera there. It may have just been a fly. It smells malty, hoppy. It smells a little bit sweet too, in a way. So this is 3.7% alcohol volume, guys, so it's not exactly a strong guy. Oh, go ahead. Let's see if we can fill it right up. Let's see if we can fill it right up. Ooh, yeah, we got away with it. Look. Perfect. Look at that. Look at the head on that. You see that? It's brilliant. I really like that. So it's got a nice, strong head. I like it. I love beers that have a, a head that sticks around, you know? Oh, was a good thing. This was good, guys. This was really pleasing. So let's just go with the taste deal. So cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Ruddles a Best Country Ale. Wow. Guys, that's really nice. Um, okay, so... It's a pound. It's a pound a bottle. One quid a bottle for this, and as that um, doesn't taste cheap, in my opinion, it doesn't taste cheap. Um, it's actually it's actually quite heavily bodied. Well, I, I would say medium bodied. I would say a medium bodied beer. Um, there's quite a lot going on with it. I'll get to the notes in a minute. Just whenever we drink, another wee taste. There's a strong hoppiness there when you first dive in, and, some, and, there's, and there's a bitterness that comes along with it. Um, strong malty aftertaste on this one, and um, it's really strong on the malt. Um, 
but it's not offensive or, or anything. It's actually it's actually quite nice, guys. I'm actually quite surprised by that. Um, what's the brewery? Is it just Ruddles? Is Ruddles the brewery? Take it. Pretty sure that's it. Beer brewed, beer brewed by Green King. Ah, Green King. Okay. I've had a few of Green King's beers before, um, but I've not had Ruddles Best Country at all. Um, I actually quite like the sound of it. I actually quite like the sound of it and the actual the nice wee picture I've got there. Um, so that's why I bought it. And it was a pound, so obviously I'm going to buy it. <laughs> you know, check it out. Um, she was all about And I'm glad I did check it out, actually. Because um, it's pretty good. Um... Artwork on the bottle, guys. Artwork on the bottle. Artwork on the bottle, I want, I want to say it's really nice. Ooh, I can take it off. Ah, look, come off. That means I can put it up there. If it's a winner, if I like it that much, I'll put it up there. So, have I heard of Roddo's beer before I bought it? No, I haven't. Um, uh no. I've heard the Green King. Um brewery. I've had a few of their beers. Can't remember the last one was I had, but Green King's pretty good. Um This is my first Ruddles beer though. Hmm. Nice guys, it's pretty nice. Um okay, so the artwork I'm gonna sit there, I'm gonna say I'm gonna sit here and say that it's gonna get an eight. Eight out of ten for the artwork, guys. It's pretty nice. Um what would I say is the drinkability on the beer? Mm. Drinkability is quite maybe midway because um, it is quite heavily bodied this beer. Um, so the drinkability I would say is probably a five out of ten. Um. The final grade of the beer. Crafted quality ale. Embossed there. Three point seven percent alcohol volume, five hundred milliliter bottle, one quid in Asda. Um Would I buy this beer again? Good question. Yeah, <gasps> I would buy it again. If you want to offer me one of these, would I take it? Of course I would. I would never deny a beer, but say say I wasn't, I don't know, say I wasn't drinking, um, say I was off alcohol, and no, what am I saying here? Say I was, say I was at a party and, and you want to offer me this or something else. Like, say, McEwen's Export. Would I have this or McEwen's Export? I don't know. Probably either. I don't know. I'd need to be in that situation. That's just occurred to me. I've not reviewed McEwen's Export yet, which we'll get to. Um, final grade, guys. Let's go for final grade. The aftertaste is extremely bitter um, and hoppy. Um, it is very, very hoppy, very bitter beer. Um, but it's also strong on the malty side. And it's a little bit sweet too. Um, what else would it say in there? With hoppy citrus undertones. Uh. It's a tiny bit citrusy. It's, more, it's hoppy. Um, um, you know what? Maybe it is a bit citrusy actually in the end. C citrusy, hoppy end. Um, but very, very malty. Very strong on the malty side. Also pretty sweet. So guys, what's my final grade on this guy? Ruddle's best. <coughs> I 
<laughs> I think I'm going to give Ruddles a best country ale. I think I'm going to give it a solid 8.7 out of 10, guys. Am I happy with that? Mm, okay, 8.5. My final grade on the beer, 8.5 out of 10 from Jordy K, me. Um, yeah, that's good. It's actually pretty nice. It's pretty decent. 8.5 out of 10. One quid a bottle in Asda. Um, cheap, but doesn't really taste cheap. Um... If you like bitter beers, you would love it. Um, yeah. Okay, guys, I think that about wraps this review up. So, thank you guys for watching, and catch you guys in the next one. You guys are all awesome. Still got a wee bit here. Mm -hmm. Cheers to everyone. <coughs> I thought a buck was coming out, it's not. <coughs> oh, there it is. It's extremely bitter. I just want to point that out. It's really, really, really hoppy bitter. Bitter, 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 hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Um, um, <coughs> so, like, if you like bitter beers, go for it. If you do not, if you absolutely hate bitter beers, stay away from it. Um, yeah. So, that wraps that review up, guys. Um, that was Ruddle's Best. Country Ale! Ruddle's best country ale! 3.7% alcohol volume, a classic English ale. So guys, thanks for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Peace! Take care of yourself and yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Bye!